Me First by Helen Lester, illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. Me First. Pinkerton was pink, plump, and pushy. He would do anything to be first, even if it meant bouncing off bellies, stepping on snouts, or tying tails. Me first, he cried when he had been last in line and finished first down the slide. Me first, he cried at story time, settling on his round bottom with his big head smack in front of the book. And every day in the school, Trowelateria, me first, rang out, and there was Pinkerton. One Saturday, Pinkerton's pig scout troop went on a day trip to the beach. Pinkerton was first on the bus and sat in the front row. He was first off the bus, first in the water, first out of the water, and first into the picnic basket. After lunch, the pig scouts decided to go for a hike. Off they went, with Pinkerton leading the line, of course. As the pig scouts marched across the sand, they heard a faint voice far in the distance. The voice called out, who would care for a sandwich? Pinkerton pricked up his pointy ears. Care for a sandwich? Oh, yes, me first, he thought, and he began to trot ahead of the others. Soon, he heard the voice again, closer and louder this time. Who would care for a sandwich? Me first, cried Pinkerton, kicking up sand and leaving the other pig scouts far behind. His imagination almost burst. Peanut butter, jelly, two tomatoes, seven pickles, a slab of cheese, a blob of mayo, a big smear of mustard. All for me first. Who would care for a sandwich? Now, at a full gallop, Pinkerton shrieked, Me first! Over a sandy hill he flew and kerplop! He landed face to face with a small creature with a bump on her nose and fur on her toes. Am I glad to see you, she cackled. I sure could hear you coming. Me first! Me first! Me first! I guess you really would care for a sandwich.